No nice question, Steve. Fire all boosters. Full power. We're riding each pair. Fire top retros. Steve. Venus. Hang on to something. I thought we'd had it. Are you okay, Matt? Uh, yeah. Yes, Steve. Uh, how about you, Venus? Gee, that was better than a roller coaster. I'm okay, though, apart from a few bruises. What happened, Matt? A, uh, a planet is broken orbit, Steve. <laughs> I calculate it will collide with planet Minbruno in uh, 21 days. 21 days? In space, that's no time at all. If Membrano is doomed, we've got to make sure the planet is uninhabited. Approaching Membruno now, Steve. Roger, Matt. Just going into orbit. Fire main retros. Sending Robert back to central control, Professor. Hey, Roger, Steve. Nose cone ready to go. Here we go. Touchdown, A-OK. -okay. About to patrol planet. Steve's leaving Fireball Junior now, Venus. sign of life, Professor. As we thought, Steve. I don't think there's any point in exploring any further, do you, Steve? I guess you're right, Professor. But I've got a strange feeling I'm being watched. my imagination's playing tricks on me. The place is deserted. Okay, Professor, on my way back. Steve's about to lift off, Venus. Okay, Professor, I'll tell Robert to stand by. Stand by, Robert, for Bible Junior. Standing by. Prepare to receive Fireball Junior, Venus. Roger, Professor. Prepare to receive Fireball Junior, Robert. Yeah. 
goggles, five, three, nine, zero, green. So if the planet is destroyed, Steve, it will not really matter. That's right. There's no evidence of life. But you did have a feeling that you were being observed. Now, 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 Venus. None of your feminine intuition. Let's stick to the facts. There's no life there. So when it's destroyed, it'll mean just one planet less to worry about. Well, Robert, we're on our way home at last. On our way home. On our way home. Fireball to Space City. Patrol code 8 terminated. Entering Earth's atmosphere now. Roger, Fireball XL5. Standing by. Fire retros, Robert. Fire retros. Venus, I can see an object just coming through the clouds. I got a glimpse of it then, Matt. I'd swear it was saucer-shaped. Hey. You don't figure it's a flying saucer, do you, Professor? Now, Steve, don't start that again. Yes, yeah, Steve. You'd feel a bit of a toot if it was just another sunspot. <laughs> it's, uh, it's gone now, anyway. Touchdown A-OK. -okay. Cutting power. There it is again, Commander Zero. I don't want to know about it. How many times do I have to tell you there's no such thing as a flying saucer? Yes, sir. But, Commander, we definitely saw something that looked like one. Now, listen, Steve, you're just tired out after the trip. Do me a favor, will you, and just forget it. Okay, okay, have it your own way. I'll go and make out my report. See you later, Venus. Okay, Steve, pick me up and we'll go back to my place. I've got a real cool disc I want you to hear. Sure thing, Venus. I took your lazoon home this afternoon, Venus. Hey, he sure is cute. I know. Thanks for taking care of him, Commander. Say, how is that Lazoon of yours anyway, Venus? Can he speak yet? You just see when we get home, Steve. Come in, Steve. I expect my Lazoon is in the lounge. There he is. Now wait for it, Steve. Come on, wake up, you lazy pooch. Welcome home. That's what he's learned in three months since we brought him back from planet Calavio. That's great, Venus. He sure looks as though he means it, too. Well, he is a lazy lazoon, Steve. Come on, let's have some coffee and listen to the disc. Identifiable object landed at Atello Beach, Commander. Atello Beach? Let's see. That's where Venus has her beach house.
Scanner probe negative. Roger, Lieutenant. Switch back to radar signal. Keep tracing area. Help yourself to coffee and sandwiches, Steve. I'll play the flip side. Um, uh, well, come home. No, no, Zuni, you've got it wrong. You only say that when someone is coming in. Uh, uh, uh. Well, welcome home. He is welcoming someone, Venus. My guess is we've got a visitor. I don't like it. The radar screen is unchanged. Okay, I'll sound the alarm. The warning system. My ray gun, it's in the hover car. Commander Zero, what is happening? We've located a strange object near your house, Venus. Steve's going to look around now. Find anything, Steve? No, but there was someone or something here, all right. Your lazoon is not so dumb as he looks. Look! The object is moving away from Earth. I know you'll think I'm tooty, Commander Zero, but I've just seen a flying saucer. We know, Steve. We're getting a radio fix on it now. Good. I'll be right with you. Roger, Steve. I'll alert Professor Matic. Thanks, Commander. Come on, Venus. We're going to track that saucer. All systems go, Matt. A clear for lift off, Steve. Saucer is on 2170 red and steady, Steve. Did you get that, Matt? Yeah, right there, Steve. 2170 red. Saucer located, Professor. I, I see it, Steve. It's, uh, it's slowing down. to release interceptors if necessary. Roger, Steve. Coming into range now. It's moved out of range. It's more, more Steve. Who will lose it? It's no good, Matt. It's leaving us again. Yes, Steve. It's as though it wants us to follow. Approaching a planet, Professor. Why, Steve, that's it. Uh, it's been Bruno, the Doom Planet. The saucers landed, Matt. I'm going down there. But Steve, 
the other planet. It'll, it'll collide. I've got to find out about this flying saucer, Professor. Then I'm coming with you, Steve. Okay, Professor. I'll take over here. Ready to detach nose cone, Venus. Roger, Steve. Watch your step, man. We don't know what's waiting for us out there. The entrance of the saucer is open, Matt. Yes, Steve, but uh, I don't see anyone. Who are you? Don't move or we fire. He, uh, he doesn't seem to hear you, Steve. Hey, wait, he's, uh, he's pointing at something. What is it, Matt? It's Fireball Junior, Steve. He's, uh, he's trying to tell us something. What can he want? Bring the robot out of your spaceship. Did you hear that, Matt? The voice is coming from the direction of Fireball Junior. I'll play along with him and get Robert. Now, 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 you, you stand quite still until Steve Zodiac gets back. Do not be alarmed, Earthmen. Put away your weapons. He's speaking through Robert. I am transferring my thoughts to the robot, Steve Zodiac. We are of superior intelligence and have been observing your planet Earth for years. You didn't lead us all this way to tell us that. No, Colonel. We have been in existence longer than any civilization. We have learned the futility of war. Now we only want peace. We have banished all weapons, but now we will suffer in consequence. How can that be if you're devoted to peace? Because we have no means of destroying the moving planet which threatens our world. But I checked this planet. I know, Steve Zodiac, I watched you. But we live on our moon. You see, it is a reverse pattern to your own Earth, up here. Now, do you mean to say that uh, if Membruno is destroyed, your moon will go out of orbit? That is correct. We need your help desperately. You are good people. Please destroy the moving planet with your powerful missiles. We'll be happy to help you, old fella. I guess it's in a good cause. Let's go, Professor. <laughs> Here we go. Course instructions, please, Professor. Uh, steer 3990 blue, Steve. Roger, 3990 blue. Stand by with interceptor one, Steve. Standing by. In range. In range, Steve. Master Guidance System, UHF. Master Guidance System, UHF. Ten seconds. Ten seconds, Steve. Standing by to correct course. Six seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, zero, and go. It's no good, Steve. The interceptor isn't powerful enough to stop the planet moving. What would happen if we fired three interceptors at once, Matt? Would it start an atomic chain reaction? Yeah, it could, Steve. It's worth a try. We have the range, Venus. Stand by for interceptors two, three, and four, Steve. Standing by. Five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, zero, and go. 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 Five, four, three, two, one, zero, and
three, two, one, zero, and go. All interceptors flying on target. Yeah, it's working. The planet is a ball of fire. We're right in its path. Steve, if it doesn't burn itself out soon, we really will be a fireball. That sure was a close one. Hey, the, uh, the saucer, Steve. It's leaving Membruno. Well, that's gratitude for you. He, he didn't even wait to thank us. That's life, I guess. Thank you, Earthmen. We are pleased that your planet has progressed so well. We will see each other again. I am in your debt. Perhaps one day I can repay you. Well, what do you know? I know one thing, Steve. Commander Zero will read our report with a little more belief this time. Now we all know that there are flying saucers after all. Guy alive. I'd fly you around the universe in Fireball XL5, way out in space together, compass of the sky. My heart would be a fireball, a fireball. Every time I gazed into your starry eyes, we'd take the path to Jupiter. And maybe very soon We'd cruise along the Milky Way And land upon the moon To a wonderland of stardust We'll zoom our way to Mars My heart would be a fireball A fireball 